So, hello guys. I'm making a second set of my TX500 expansion. I have a second TX500 in Russia lying around. And there I have an older version from my expansion mounted. And yeah, I, I, this is uh, already the third, third design or something like this before. If you remember, I, I had on the bottom another layer what you can what was used to store the sound card and then I changed this and the sound card is all all in this part here on the left side. Yeah in the meantime I designed my own sound card. This is the sound card. I made this especially for my Digibox what I'm using for the for FM for 70 cm mostly but yeah and then I built this uh, here in the, and uh, you will see how this is done so I need to remove this uh, network connector here first and then this will slide here the moment it's not possible this is in the way here this, con this connector here you see the two transformers this is a one-to-one -one transformers for the audio to separate the also galvanic uh, separation. There's also an optocoupler here. Uh, and also a uh, uh, yeah, separation for the for the serial port here. This is this chip. And this uh, optocoupler is for the PTT if I use it, but in this case I not use PTT. I use the, so I control the PTT with the cat control with this here. So, yeah, I will start. This here, yeah, this is because there is a this chip separates the galvanic separation from the cat control, and it uh, you need for this uh, input voltage and the voltage what comes from the from the side what you want to separate it from. I need to connect uh, to the cat control what is here, also this 
I need to connect here 3.3 volt and this is why I, I have to bridge uh, the voltage from uh, from the input to the out output side also the ground so this is not really separated anymore but I mean I can cannot separate it if they not give me the, the voltage I think there's a there is a way to separate it there exists some other uh, integrated circuits who can do this but I not know this also this, uh, this is so standard chip but he needs a, a voltage from the other side of course it also can transform the voltage from, from I don't know 3.3 volt from this side to 5 volt or something else also level, level shift I looked at the uh, uh, schematic and I will adapt my original here what I had in my TX500 uh, what I have uh, so I would I will adapt the circuit how I have it here because I remove I have here a filter some uh, passive filters low cut high cut uh, what are unnecessary? I tested it, it's, uh, and I not removed it, it, this at uh, on this circuit. Yeah, so I will make everything how I have it here. But for this, I need the microscope. The rest I will make in Russia. So these are the two parts.
so my tummy load my tummy load is ready my tummy load is ready you go Awesome work. I send it with my dummy load to my station, what is right beside me, with about one watt. But this is working. Very good, the dummy loads. Very good. So, everything working. Uh, transmission audio audio from here to the inside working I received the audio cut control is working yeah I, I increased the audio output from the sound cut uh, uh, from the TX500 to the sound cut so the sensitivity from the sound sound cut uh, I increased by removing this parts here uh, and I had to adjust the volume a little bit, it was now too sensitive so, but everything is perfect my audio is now 47 dB with nothing, also without the preamp yeah, and there is yeah, no signal more or less with this dummy load ok, this was it guys, thanks I hope this was maybe a little bit uh, interesting how this is on the inside I have an uh, idea how theoretically I could uh, let's turn this off how I could theoretically build this also for other people if someone is interested because at the moment you saw this is a there is so much cable management here inside so it's a little bit chaotic I don't want to build this for <laughs> but I have an uh, idea where this is where this could be all uh, easier easier made so if I made another version from from my sound card already with a connector on it and then I make a second uh, another PCB what goes from from here to here and if I can make the connector on the PCP where I can plug in the whole PCP to all three connectors and make on the other side of the PCP also uh, connectors, uh, so co uh, connectors to wires and if I can find these uh, wired cables already pre-made pre then I save a lot of work because uh, then I just plug in the PCB to the connectors and on the other side I connect the with just with a uh, as a, as a pre-assembled cable with the connectors I just uh, plug it into the connectors all I mean of course some some things I need to make for example the this here the, the charging board this needs to be soldiered But most of the stuff is uh, is then uh, much easier to make. Yeah, I will think about it if it's, if this is worth the time. Because for me, yeah, I have it already one time or two times. If I not need to make it for other people, I will keep this. Would be just fun. Well, thanks for watching. See you next time.